Hey everybody, James the Guy. About to show you how to mount a B18 60mm throttle body that I have cleaned already and adjusted the thermal valve, made sure everything is good, adjusted TPS, and mount that to a D16Z6 intake manifold. Of course, it's propped up so you can see for the video what I'm talking about. You want to take this. Undo all four of the nuts that are holding the throttle on. Pull the throttle off, like so. Check gasket. This one was obviously bad. Put it off to the side. Now, I've already done this um, Sharpie thing. But uh, you want to mark it with a Sharpie all the way around, right? And clean the surface area beforehand, of course. And then you want to take your B-Series throttle and put it on. When you open it up, you can see inside there that silver and where the sharpie is that surface needs to be marked with some type of scribe let me put the camera down for a minute and I will show you how to do that Okay, all I could find was a screwdriver, a normal old screwdriver. What you're going to want to do, you probably can't see this, but you're going to want to take it on the inside and mark it. And that is, that mark will be on the inside, and that will let you know how much surface you need to take off. So you don't want to take too much off, but you don't want to take too little, because then that will de de uh, It'll affect the flow. It won't actually flow near as good. It'll be defective. The word I was trying to get out of my mouth was defective for some reason. It will impede the flow. It'll actually just be totally pointless to put a B-series throttle on. And, of course, you can't really see it too much. But on here, there's markings I made as to how much surface I need to actually take off. I'm going to go just a hair past that so that it actually mates right just a little bit and I will do that with the Dremel and I will add that to this video so let me do that and I'll get back to you alright guys I just did the uh, porting with the Dremel well it's more like a screw driver thing but uh, this is what I used I used a stone just took off excess a little bit at a time went all the way around in a circle it's pretty simple uh, just don't take too much off because that could also impede flow and volumetric efficiency is what we're wanting here. Okay, you can look inside there. You see that there's no step up like there was before. It's all smooth and it's all straight through. Pretty much perfect, as good as it's going to get without a machine shop. But, um, that's not supposed to happen. Anyways, um, you can take it to the machine shop. They could probably figure something out for you, make, maybe bore it, I don't know. But you can also use a motorcycle cylinder hone. I've heard that they're about the same size and it'll expand and slowly take off perfect amounts. And it takes a while, a while from what I've read and heard, but it's pretty easy to do. Um, afterwards, I used a flapper wheel. It's just to kind of smooth up this area right here. And this side on this, I'm gonna about to use the flapper wheel just to kind of smooth it out just a little bit. You don't want to get it too smooth because then you mess with the flow. But while it's been off, I cleaned it up a little bit, cleaned each each intake port and the inside. I cleaned it out after I got metal shavings in it, and yep. So there it is, uh, B-series throttle on a. Oh, I can get it on there. B-series throttle on a D-series manifold. It's simple as that. Not really hard. You're going to want to get yourself a new intake gasket because you're going to need to re-gasket that. I'm going to put a little gasket sealer. I always do just to have that extra added safety. It's not necessary, but, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And it always seems to work well whenever I do gasket sealer and a new manifold gasket. Just like double the protection. But that's pretty much it. Bolt everything back up. You're going to have to go out and get a new intake gasket, which I've already got one. And they're like four dollars I think um, get them for the 94 Acura Integra with the non VTEC motor and they're like three ninety nine. dollars and it's pretty cheap go to a parts store near you and get that 
But that's pretty much it. I'll give you a little update after it's on the car. All right, thanks for watching. There it is, everybody. A-series model. Perfect. I'll take it for a spin sometime and let you know how it goes. Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe, guys.